Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Simon, he said to Peter, are you asleep? Couldn't you keep watch for one hour? Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Once more he went away and prayed the same thing. When he came back, he again found them sleeping because their eyes were heavy. They did not know what to say to him. Returning the third time, he said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Enough! The hour has come. Look, the Son of Man is delivered into the hands of sinners. There are a lot of videos on YouTube right now about people falling asleep on the job. It's pretty hilarious. you got to check it out. We've all been there, right? Where we're all trying to act like we're not falling asleep and our heads are like nodding back and forth like a bobblehead doll. <laughs> it's pretty funny, but it is embarrassing. But this is not one of those moments. This is when Jesus is taking his three closest friends with him at a place when he's the most vulnerable. And he really needs their strength and support in prayer. But they fail him. Not one time, but three times. Now, it's understandable that they were tired after a long day, but this is when your dear friend really needed them the most. And here they are, falling asleep on the job. See, Christ wants us to be his eyes, ears, arms, legs, right here on earth, to do the work that he has planned for us. And sometimes we fall asleep on the job. I mean, not literally fall asleep when our brothers and sisters are asking us for help, but we're just not available like we're supposed to be, you know? Sometimes we're just tired. Even when Jesus is asking us to go that extra mile, we're just tired. Have you ever fallen asleep when Christ needed you? Let's pray. Oh, Lord. Many times my spirit is willing, but my flesh is weak. Give me the strength. Wake me up. Help me to really be there when my brothers and sisters really need me. Amen.